to be live wherever in the world you are watching thank you for joining and when you walk into this room the first thing you need to do is very customary is just smash the like button that's usually the first thing you got to do and then what we do is we go through all the winners and all the losers of the day and try to figure out what is the best way to make money right here right now and live and interactive I want to talk to you about a couple of stocks that I've been talking about. So in the last month, I told you guys that Apple was my third stock to watch for January 2020. Well, they've run from $285 to $324, $327 today, and actually right now $326.79 in a matter of a month. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, that's about what 50 cents 50 dollars sorry 50 dollars 15 plus now 42 dollars at 285 dollars 10 percent would have been 28 dollars so it's up about 15 percent not bad you're buying one of the biggest companies in the world and you're up 15 percent for the month i mean that's how you make money as far as i'm concerned you know, these are picks that I'm just giving you guys for free. I'm just giving you this pick for free. Anybody can go out there and buy Apple, right? The question is, when do you buy it? And when do you sell it? So some of the stocks that are flying right now, Lee, L-E-E, -E, is absolutely on fire. En Fuego, L-E-E, -E, -E, on the New York Stock Exchange, up 82% Lee Enterprises. MC says, IMGN is running. IMGN, let's take a look. Thank you for your pick. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you being here and joining me live and interactive here on Rich TV Live. IMGN is up 7%. I'm going to build some indicators here. Get the Bollinger Bands, the VWAP, the MACD, the RSI, and the volume indicator. Let's just see here. What are we looking at? It's 
It's definitely showed a lot of power, but it's kind of selling off here. The RSI is pointing up, and so is the volume indicator, which is a very good indicator. And the MACD is starting to turn up. Yeah, IMGN is definitely looking like it's going to go up. Great call here. What else, guys? Is there anything else that is running that we need to look at live and interactive? Lee is up 83%. AEMD, one that I brought you guys on Sunday, is up 13%. And the indicators are extremely bullish on AEMD, just so everybody knows. It was as high as $6.89 in October. Now at $3.39 with a vaccine that could potentially, could potentially be a vaccine for the coronavirus. What do you guys think about AEMD? Now a company that is very interesting is obviously Apple today beat on their earnings estimates. That's why they're up 3%. And the company that's going to be reporting aftermarket today is Tesla. Now Tesla was another one of my picks, my number one pick actually, for January 2020. In the last month, we're not done the month yet, but in the last month it is up from $402 to $573.86, where we stand right now. It has been an absolute giant. An absolute giant. So the question is, do they beat estimates? Do they Meet estimates, by the way, they're now at $574. Unbelievable. I had Investing Millennial on the show with us, and we started doing videos in November. Well, since then, Tesla has run from, since November, $320 to $574. When we were doing the show, I predicted that Tesla would go to a thousand. I never thought it would happen this soon. But who knows? <laughs> who knows? Maybe Tesla is going to get to a thousand sooner than we think. Now at $574, and the question is, what are they going to report on this call? This call is going to be extremely important for Tesla because they've got so much momentum in the stock and the momentum right now is actually starting to grow. Looking at the MACD, the momentum looks like it's just about to grow and the RSI looks like it's just about to grow. So it looks like it's, if you look at its chart for the last month, it looks like it's going up a staircase almost. And that leads me to believe that the next step is over 600. Do any of you guys think that Tesla is going to go to 600 plus? Because to me, looking at the indicators right now, they're extremely bullish. Like extremely bullish. So this to me looks like Tesla is going to go to 600. Especially if they beat earnings estimates then we could see them just go parabolic. I like to see them go parabolic. Now, Canopy Growth, they had a nice day yesterday. And today it's more subdued. Valens Grow Works has quietly just been climbing. You can see here over the last five days, we've seen them climb here from 331 all the way to 372, very quietly, all week, just been going up. Just been going up. They had this drop here. So they hit a high of $4.07. 
dropped all the way down here to three, 336, I guess was the bottom of this channel that it's been trading at. over the last few weeks. And it's bounced back since then and now it's back to 372. I would not be surprised to see it test these highs of $4. Look at the way it's going up. This is very bullish for me. The MACD is pointing up. See how the MACD is pointing up? The yellow and the blue line are both pointing up. See how we have lots of green candles of just buying, 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 buying. That's buying pressure. Selling pressure, selling pressure, buying pressure. Buying pressure up. Selling pressure down, buying pressure starting to go up. I think we're going to see balance go to $4. Okay, let's see. We're going to see the trend go up. Okay, we're going to see the trend go up. Oh, we're going to see them go to $4. As far as I'm concerned, Balance is one of the best companies out there. I think this looks extremely bullish for Balance as far as I'm concerned. I think Balance is going to run to at least $4. But I think it's going to go way higher than that. Way higher. Way, way, way higher. I think there's a very good chance that we're going to see balance go to $10. So keep it on your watch list. Keep it on your radar. One that uh, is being talked about in our group chat, smartly, is Next Tech, Next Tech AR Solutions. So Next Tech AR Solutions is extremely bullish right now. The MACD is very bullish. The RSI is very bullish. The volume is growing. So this is extremely bullish right now. NTAR, and it has been all year. I'm going to show you something. NTAR has come from $0.47 cents a year ago to $2.95 today. NTAR, Next Tech AR Solutions. Do I have a balance position? Um, no, I do not have a balance position yet. I've been looking for a good entry point. I have not gotten into balance yet, but I want to. Um, and I just think that like right now that indicators are extremely bullish for balance. And just because I've met with the company and I've been doing my research on the company, I just feel like you know, all the indicators are saying that these guys are underbought. And analysts believe that it's going way higher. Some analysts believe it's going as high as $10. The average analyst price estimate in Canadian dollars is $8.45. Currently trading at $3.72. So there's an opportunity here to double your money in a company that's growing, an extraction company, is focused on having EBITDA, profitability. It's not a company talking about it. It's a company that's being about it. They're actually profitable. They're building EBITDA. They have growing revenue every quarter. And they have some of the largest LPs in the world that have licensing agreements with them. So I believe these guys get way bigger. And we can make a fortune with balance. They're one of my favorite stocks, to be honest with you guys, for 2020. I just absolutely am in love with these guys. And they've been going up. They've been going up. So they hit the 330 range. Now they're at 372. So if you got in at 330, which is the bottom of this channel that it's been trading at, you've already made yourself like a nice 10% on this little run here. But I believe that it's going to go higher. Yeah, short term, they could go lower. There's always a chance it could go lower short, short term. News, anything can take it down, just like it went down the last time. 
can go right back down to the 330 range, 340 range. But I just see a future for these guys. And I just feel like they could be one of those companies that could really, really make our 2020. Because if you're looking for a cannabis company or an extraction company, this is one of, if not the best. They're going to be global. They're revenue positive, revenue focused, and they focused on growing their business the right way. And everything they've said leads me to believe they're going to have a huge 2020 because they keep talking about wanting to have a huge 2020 because they're saying that 2020 is the reason that they've been doing this. They've been doing all of this for 2020. This is what they say. So I believe this is just the start for Valens. And while I say that, my number three pick for January 2020 is Apple and it's up 3% and it just keeps going. And then my number one pick for January 2020, Tesla, up 25% in January 2020. If you bought Tesla and you bought Apple, my number one and my number three picks for January 2020, you're up 40% <laughs> in one month. And we're doing this live. We're doing this live. I'm not asking for your money. I want to make money with you guys. Let's make money while we're live right now, right here, right now. Tesla reporting today after market. You know I'm going to make a video of that. You know I will, right? You guys know that I made one today with Apple. This is the new direction for Rich TV Live in our community. We need to invest in the best. Samuel says, waiting so long for Sproutly News. All we get is one about a loan, which is not bad being it's coming from Infusion Biosciences itself. You think Tesla will go higher before consolidating. Once Sproutly finalizes patents, I think they will be the biggest extraction if their tech is true. Yeah, I don't think Sproutly will be the biggest extraction. I think the biggest extraction will be Valens or Labs. Those will be the biggest extraction. Those guys are absolute giants. But you never know. You might be right. I might be wrong. I think that Sproutly has a chance to be big in cannabis-infused beverages. But everybody has a chance because we're just at the start. This is just the start. But Tesla, they're the leader in the world with electric vehicles. Elon has already changed the world. This is why I always like Tesla. Because when you change the world, you make a legacy. Chances are your company is going to be very successful. Because you've changed the world. That's pretty big. It doesn't always translate to financial success, but it's a good chance. That's why I always believed in Tesla. Even when they were at $180 this year, like look at Tesla. They hit $176. If you got in at $176 in June, you're up like what? 200%? Two hundred and fifty percent. You want me to look at Hive? Yeah, give me your picks, guys. We'll take a look. We're live. We're interactive. I want to know what we can make money with right now, right here, right now. What are the winners? What are the losers? Hive is very bullish right now. The RSI is really pointing up. The MACD is pointing up. The Bollinger Bands are pointing up. The volume is growing intensively. Yeah, Hive looks good, especially because Bitcoin's hot right now, right? As predicted, once again, I did tell you guys that Bitcoin would be hot. And oh my goodness, are they hot? 93.35, look at that. I've been talking to you guys about Bitcoin since it was at 6,000. And I told you guys Bitcoin was going to climb because of Bitcoin halving. May 18th, 2020. 
and look at it go up 8.67%. And I told you guys, what is the number one Bitcoin related stock? It's nice to see Hive doing well, but the one I like is GBTC. So if you want to buy Bitcoin, but you want to trade, and you don't want to actually hold Bitcoin in a wallet and have to deal with any of those headaches, you can buy GBTC. This is the next best thing as a trader to Bitcoin. And if you watch it very carefully, it trades very similarly to Bitcoin. Look at its chart, okay? Bottom of 365, high of 1740, currently at 1048. Look at Bitcoin. At 9,330, high of $13.76 and low of 3,417. So the chart looks pretty identical, would you agree? It looks almost identical, look at that. The charts look almost identical. You could put them side by side, they look almost identical. Look, you don't even know that I switched charts. Now, yeah, Bitcoin's up 8%. GBTC is up 3%. So it's not exactly, but it's pretty damn close. And all the indicators right now are very, very bullish on GBTC. Once again, one of my hottest stocks for 2020. Absolutely love GBTC. BSR. Yo, Alberto, what's up, brother? BSR. Bluestone Resources, bro. Yeah, man, it's one of my picks. You're right. Interviewed the CEO and look at her go. Very bullish. Gotta love those gold stocks right now. What I tell you guys? I said everything's gonna go down. I said that gold is gonna go up, Bitcoin's gonna go up, everything's gonna go down. Everything went down and now the market's coming back. The market is fighting back because this market is all manipulated. This is a heavily manipulated market, let's be honest. So we're in a heavily manipulated market. So despite the fact that there's fears of coronavirus, we are seeing the market is green. The global Dow is down, but everything else is green. So even gold is green, oil is green. Right now, everything is trying to hold green. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that's a lot of manipulation, but hey, it is what it is, right? When you're in the midst of a market melt-up, nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you in the midst of a market melt-up. Samuel says, true, but honestly, those gains are not much if you're only buying a few shares. You have to have big money to make big profits in a company like Tesla. It's true, but you're investing in a real business. So if you're going to put 10 grand in a company and you put it into Tesla, why not? And I think a lot of our viewers have 10 grand. Look at Tesla. Just keep going higher, by the way. Hey? 577 now. Look at that. All the indicators are pointing up. All the Bollinger Bands are pointing right up. Everything's pointing right up. That's crazy. So Tesla's just flying live, right? Here we are watching Tesla live as predicted, right? All month, I've been predicting it. People say, oh, well, you can't make a lot of money. Well, if you bought Tesla in November, when I started telling you it was going to go to 1000 it was at $320. You would be close to making 100% on your money. Your 10 grand would be worth 20 grand now. If you bought even... $1,000 worth of shares, your $1,000 will be close to $2,000 because it's not about how much money you have. How much has the stock gone up? If the stock goes up in three months from $300 to $600, you make 100% in three months. So it's not about how much money you have to invest. If you bought three shares for $1,000 three months ago, your three shares would be now worth six shares. You would have just doubled your money. So you got to get out of this mentality of buying penny stocks. You're just wasting your time when you could be buying some of the best companies in the world. You could be owning Tesla. You could be owning Apple. You got to stop thinking about, oh, less is better. It's not true. It's wrong. You're wrong. Less is not better. If you're buying penny stocks, you're buying trash. If you're buying Apple, you're buying one of the biggest, most powerful companies in the world. If you're buying Facebook, you're, one, you're buying one of the biggest, most powerful companies in the world. Also in my top 10 in January 2020. And voila, they're up 10% in 
in January 2020. I'm talking about making 10% a month buying some of the biggest, best companies in the world. Would you rather own some of the biggest and the best companies in the world or would you rather own a penny stock? It's a no-brainer. It's an absolute no-brainer. So if you want to learn how to buy gold, if you want to learn how to buy Bitcoin, if you want to learn how to take advantage of these moves in the market, I do have a trading academy where you guys can join and be a part of a trading academy where you can learn how to make money trading all of these assets. I can make money trading oil up and down. I can make money trading Bitcoin up and down. I can make money trading gold up and down. I can trade anything I want up and down. So if you would like to learn how, I've got a trading academy. I'd love to work with you and trade with you. And there are thousands of traders that I trade with now every day that are part of the academy worldwide. And I would love to work with you and trade with you and become a better trader with you. Because every single day is a day for us to improve and improve on our craft. And there's a reason why I've been able to predict the explosion of Bitcoin. There's a reason why I've been able to predict the explosion of gold. Because I've been doing it every day with the help of other traders that are mentors, that are trading with six and seven, eight figure accounts. So when you're working with other traders and you're constantly looking at the markets and you're constantly learning from the biggest and the best traders in the world, you're going to win. If you surround yourself with great traders, you're going to win. I also said that we need to get out of the cannabis sector because the cannabis sector has been bare. And if you want to make money, you got to diversify. And I'm going to prove it to you guys because I know everybody's resisting it. But that's fine. You can resist it all you want. You're up 150% on ETC. Nice, nice job. Ethereum Classic Stock ETC. Ethereum Classic. There we go. ETCG. So this is the Ethereum Classic stock. So if you want to buy Ethereum Classic, but you don't want to actually hold Ethereum in a wallet or on an exchange, you can buy ETCG in America, ETC in Canada, Ethereum Classic stock. This is the way to go if you're a trader, but you don't want to buy crypto. This is how you do it. How much investing money should you have to join the trading academy? You don't need anything. You can just learn to trade. It's not a big deal, but everybody should be investing in their trading. If you're not investing in learning how to trade, how are you going to win? People go to school to have tools so that they can be successful in a field. How can you win at trading if you don't have any tools? You're not going to win. If you're interested in joining my trading academy, just email me. I'll have one of my representatives call you. And they'll walk you through it. It's very simple. I don't even do it. I don't even have time. I'm so busy. But I have members that are just joining and growing and winning. And they're calling me up and they're winning. And they're telling me how great traders they are. And I'm happy for them. And you might become a better trader than me. I'm not the greatest trader. I'm an entertainer. I'm an educator. I'm a father. I have different goals for myself. Yes, I like to trade, but it's not the only thing I want to do. Some of you guys love to trade more than me. Some of you will be way better traders than me. Joining the academy will give you the opportunity to trade 24 hours a day, seven days a week, make money all the time, and learn how to not just trade, but potentially if you want to, you can build a business and teach others how to trade and be a part of a huge growing academy and travel the world. Like my trading academy is going to London in 30 days. You know, there's a huge event going on there. I'm so busy. I don't think I'll be able to make it, but they want me to go. You know, I kind of want to go, but I haven't really, um, I don't have the time. I'm so busy in my life. So I got a lot of things going on myself. So I haven't even been able to really focus on the trading as much as I would like, but I do believe I'm learning every day, which is going to help me become a better trader, not just today, but in the future. I have more tools now. I can make money on gold, oil and gas, silver, every day, up and down. I can make money on stocks 
every day, up and down, through my trading academy. And I'm also going to be launching options trading very soon. So all of these assets that I'm showing you guys, I can trade this through my trading academy with leverage. So you can make a killing. There are people that are making millions of dollars and all they do is trade. There's also people that make millions of dollars building a business, teaching other people how to trade. As educators, everybody has their own goals. You know, I joined the trading academy so that I could learn how to trade Forex, you know, and, and, and make money trading gold, silver, oil and gas, Bitcoin, without actually having to put it all into an exchange. But I'm also trading cryptocurrencies in an exchange as well. I do that as well. I like to be diversified and have my hands involved in everything. So now, literally, at, a, at the drop of a button, I can just go and trade anything through my phone, from the beach, or anywhere in the world, just with my phone. And that's the way I wanted to set myself up. I have the freedom now to literally just trade on my phone 24 hours a day and seven days a week, and help other people learn how to trade. And by helping other people learn how to trade and grow their businesses and be successful, I get the opportunity to create freedom for myself and for others around me. Sure, why not? MC says, buy the dips, sell the rips, 100%. My attitude is as soon as you see 10% or more, take it. Or hold it, wait, if you think that the indicators are saying it's very bullish and it's gonna go higher, wait until your opportunity. Because opportunities will present themselves in the market all the time. So for example, if you're up on Lee, Lee's up 81% today, okay? Huge move for Lee today. Huge, huge, huge move, right? So Lee has a monster day, goes up 81%. So I'm not gonna chase this stock up 81%, right? I'm gonna watch it, put it on my watch list, put it on my radar. Um, but if you were up 81%, I would put my stop loss at about 75%. That way, if it comes back down, I take at least 75%. Not my stop loss, my limit, my close, like you want to put your take profit, sorry, your take profit at 75%. So right now it's up 83%. I would move my take profit up to 78%. This is how I trade. This way you can get, you can squeeze the most juice out of a run. But at the same time, you never want to take less than 10%. As soon as you're up 10%, you should already be putting your finger on the trigger. If it is up 12% and then it comes down to 10, take it. You don't want to take 9, 8, 7. You want to take at least 10. That way, if you put in $1,000 and you're up 10%, you make 100 bucks. There's a lot of people all over the world that they work an entire day. Some people work an entire week for 100 bucks. This is my attitude about trading. MC says, I started trading, I started two months ago. You gave me the motivation and inspiration I needed to get started. Thanks, Rich. Before the Corona scare, my account was up 40%. Now it's at about 25%. Hey man, take the money and run and stay in cash and wait for the right opportunities. If you're up 40%, take it. Why let your account go down from 40% to 25%? Take the 40%. Take the 40%. Stay in cash, wait for your opportunities. Opportunities will always present themselves. Opportunities will always present themselves. Like look at Tesla, just ripping, just keeps ripping. Facebook, Apple. GBTC is literally ripping up as we speak now up 4.15%. This is the biggest and the best Bitcoin stock. And Ethereum Classic up 4.47%. So if you believe that Bitcoin is going to rip and you believe that Ethereum is going to rip, then you should be looking also at Ethereum Classic as well as GBTC. I think they both have an opportunity to explode. If there's anything else that is exploding that I need to look at, 
let me know. We are live. We are interactive. We are literally trading live. TKEN, TKEN, says Dylan Fraser. TKEN. Is TKEN making a move again? TCAN is up 13%. Thank you very much, Dylan. I appreciate that. Platinum, the 2020 Palladium. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, we can trade Platinum and Palladium too at our trading academy. So I think that there are so many assets that we can make money with. The key is we need to buy low, sell high, and we need to watch everything like a hawk as a community and find the right times to buy and find the right times to sell. And right now, what is hot again today are coronavirus stocks. NNVC up 15%. AEMD up 10%. Coronavirus stocks, they were up. And the next day they go down. Next day they go up again. BKYI. BKYI is up 51% today. Put them on your radar, put them on your watch list. They are definitely on the move. Indicators are very bullish, so I would not be surprised to see this go through a dollar. This is extremely bullish. The way it's going up, 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 and up, and the way it's all pointing up, I think that this goes through a dollar. Let's see if we watch it go through a dollar or not. Indicators are extremely bullish. Probably could be a lot of resistance at a dollar, but very good chance they could go through a dollar. Yo, what's up, man? Bitcoin is up. It is absolutely flying. So is GBTC. So is Ethereum Classic. Facebook is having another strong day. Tesla having another strong day. Apple having another strong day. And we're looking at the markets and we're live. And overall, the markets are green, but some markets are starting to turn red. Gold is red. Oil is red. Global Dow is red. The NASDAQ is up 31 basis points or 0.34%. The S&P 500 is up 10.85 basis points or 0.33%. And the Dow is up 121.13 basis points, or 0.42%. LB and GE are having strong days. LB and GE. LB is up 12%, guys. LB on the New York Stock Exchange, L Brands. And GE, General Electric, having a big day up 10%. Big jump. General Electric. We're in earnings season, right? So companies that report good earnings are probably going to make moves. So this is why we need to really pay attention to what's going on in the markets right now. Pay attention to everybody's earnings. Pay attention to everybody's revenues. See if they're beating earnings, revenues, uh, targets, and estimates. See if they're meeting them, if they're falling short. And that will all have a bearing on what happens in the markets. Now you can see the marijuana index is actually green today. Red in Canada slightly, but very little, and green in America slightly. Nothing major. Just nothing to really turn this cannabis sector around yet. Nothing to really, like yesterday cannabis growth had a huge day, but the sector, yeah, the sector was up, but it wasn't, you know, what it could have been. I mean, you can see there is almost nothing green in Canada. 
just like a weird dead day in the markets. Interesting. Very weird. The market is trading very, very odd in Canada right now. Obviously, we look at the uh, charts, you can see that, you know, we're the lowest we've been since 2017. And then previous to that, 2016 and 2016. So we're the lowest we've been in years. And it just does not want to come out of this range. It doesn't want to come out of this range. It's really weird. It's very odd. I don't really understand why. Can't understand why. But it is what it is. It is what it is. It does not want to come out of that range. It will eventually. And when it does, it'll just explode. But just like Bitcoin is. But the question is when. You know, we've seen Bitcoin have a massive run. You know, let's not forget Bitcoin was at 3000 a year ago. So it's up 200%. Well, you want to get into Bitcoin, but you don't want to buy it through exchanges. You don't want to hold a wallet, a paper wallet or anything like that. GBTC. While we're live, it's going higher. Now at 1055, just climbing. It's just climbing. GBTC. And if you want to see the two year, the one year chart, bam, $3 to $10, 200%. What I tell you, the chart looks exactly the same as Bitcoin. So Bitcoin could have made you 200% on your money in one year. All right, guys. So just wanted to show you some of those stocks. We've been live and interactive. Thank you guys for joining me. Hope you have a great day. If there's any other big news or breaking news or anything trending that's happening, I will let you know. Let's take a look real quickly at some of the stocks that I brought you guys. Baby. Oh, I guess they don't even have baby on here. Baby's been just on fire. So I want to take a look real quick and see what baby looks like. So baby has been one of our best picks, obviously, um, over the last little bit. And uh, it's been doing amazing. Why is that showing up? Health Nutrition. Yeah, up another 7% today. So it's just strong, guys. So strong. Baby is just such a strong pick. B-A-B-Y in Canada, B-A-B-Y-F in America. Now it's 75 cents. I brought it to you guys around 30 cents. So you can see that 30 cents has been the bottom multiple times, and now it's been on a huge run, up 150% since I brought you Baby. B-A-B-Y, B-A-B-Y-F in America. Baby has been just amazing. For members congratulations to everybody that has taken advantage of this move on baby i also brought you guys dragonfly this week ha ha ha, ha. i brought you dragonfly this week and they've been going up too they went up seven percent yesterday they're up another three percent today just walking up just walking up it's all right i also talked to you guys about high tide earlier this week and high tide just raised some money and now the stock is just sitting at 21 cents i think the stock has a great future if you can get a little bit lower 16 cents would be like an amazing entry in my opinion i think that uh, we're starting to see some green candles here i think that this is going to be a delayed reaction and we're going to see them take off i really do believe we're going to see these guys take off I think we're going to see high tide go higher.
I think Valens Grow Works looks so bullish right now. All these indicators are pointing up. Do you see that? That is extremely bullish for me. A lot of buying pressure here. Very interesting. Look at Aurora. See, look, Aurora's downward selling pressure. It's the opposite. HMMJ ETF had a nice little bump and then it's kind of turning sideways. Canopy growth is pretty bullish here. Indicators pointing up. Alberto Ramos says ZMA Halo, great buys right now, finding a bottom. Let's take a look at those. Yeah, zoom away, seven cents. Man, it was at what? Five and a half, six cents yesterday? It hit six and a half. It was the low. And now it's at seven, up 7%. 7 but the volume is only 84,000 shares. So you can see here, it's been on this downward spiral for the last month. I think we could definitely catch a few percent here if we got in at six or seven cents and it runs back to 10 cents. I think it's a very good likelihood this will run back to 10 cents. If not higher. I think we could see them run as high as 20 cents this year. It'll be an interesting one to watch. Definitely not a bad entry for Zoomoy Travel. Thank you, Alberto. I agree with you. Let's take a look at Halo Labs. I'm going to have uh, Halo Labs CEO on our show tomorrow, actually. A-G-E-E-F at 18 and a half cents. So an extraction play that is doing global business, currently definitely near the bottom. Might be able to get it a little bit cheaper, but I think the upside is tremendous. But, you know, just problem here with the cannabis sector, right? Like everybody's down. So nothing's really moving. And the entire sentiment for the entire sector is, is down. It's negative. It's a bear market. You know, I wanted to prove that to you. Like, look at this. We're the lowest we've been in years. It's a bear market. So it's a very difficult time to, to make money here. You know, when you could be making money, buying tech stocks, tech stocks like Facebook are going up, tech stocks like Tesla are going up, tech stocks like, uh, another one is Snapchat actually. Snapchat has been doing extremely well. They're another one that's up over 200% in the last year. Look at this, and they just keep climbing and I keep telling everybody I like Snapchat and they just keep going up. Look at the last year, from $6 to $19, quietly just going up consistently. Love these guys, and they just keep going up. So there's a lot of opportunities out there. I think we need to get out of, oh, this is a high stock, this is a low stock. Don't invest in penny stocks, they're trash. Make money, invest in good companies. Invest in a company that Warren Buffett would invest in. He's the best investor ever, he's made billions. Why is it okay for him to invest in the best and not you? Why should Warren Buffett own all the best stocks and you own trash penny stocks? Why? Anything under $5 is a penny stock. So anything you're buying under $5 is ultimately risky. Why? Because institutionals don't run those stocks. Shorts do. Market makers do. So when you're buying a stock that's under three bucks or under five bucks or under a dollar, you're taking the ultimate risk with your money because they're not going to be protected by institutional investors. Right now, even though the global markets are in disarray due to a global outbreak of a disease that they can't find a cure for, Tesla's still going up. Facebook is still going up. And it's not going to stop. I told you we're in the midst of a market meltup. Apple is still going up. Yeah, there might be days where it retracts, but this market is melting up regardless of what happens on a global scale. It's proving to be too strong that even a global deadly virus can't stop it. That's the facts. 
Yo, what's up, Jay? How you doing, man? I think Halo long-term is going to do very well, and I think Zoom Away Travel long-term is going to do very well. Short-term, I don't know. They could go lower. But I think long-term, you're right. They are going to do very well. Yeah, just look at BRK.B, Berkshire Hathaway. It's a great example. A great example. $225 a share. You want to get in on some Berkshire Hathaway stock? Buy some BRK.B. $225 a share. That's affordable. Now BRK.A, that's not really affordable. Not for most people. $339,000 a share. You want to see a chart? Look at this. In... 2016, it was $186,000 a share. It has more, well, no, just, uh, yeah, yeah, almost doubled, almost doubled. Talk about making money, plus he pays you a dividend. So you're making money on the stock going up and you get a dividend. Look at the volume, 95, 95 shares. Because it's $340,000 a share. Not many people can afford it. But if you buy that, that's like a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. People that own this stock are multi, multi millionaires and billionaires. Just accumulating a little bit of Warren Buffett's company. And what does Warren Buffett do? A Warren Buffett acquires businesses that are revenue generating businesses to build his balance sheet. That's why he has such a powerful company. Warren Buffett doesn't have to sell shares. He can walk into any bank, deposit his stock there, and leverage against his securities, which means he can borrow against his stock and he never, ever, ever has to sell his stock. He can borrow against his stock. Now, why would you want to borrow against your stock? Because then you pay interest. And interest right now is really low, so it's much cheaper to buy to pay interest on a stock that you borrowed against than it is to pay capital gains tax. So a lot of the rich, the a lot of elite, they borrow against their securities. And then at any point in time, they can just sell securities to pay off those loans. Mish Dinger says, imagine Berkshire had the foresight to buy Apple and Amazon early. I think companies like Apple and Amazon, it is early. I think that they're going way higher. You can't tell me that Amazon is not going to get bigger. And you can't tell me that Apple's not going to get bigger. They're going to get bigger. They're just going to keep getting bigger. And they're going to keep getting better. Yeah, they're going to have ups and downs. Can't just go up forever. But they're going to get bigger and they're going to get better because the rich get richer. Last time I looked. And when you're rich and you're just constantly making money, what are you going to do with your money? You're going to use your money to make more money. You're going to invest. You're going to acquire assets. You're going to go and buy businesses. This is what they do. That's where Google's at. Google's at the point where they just buy businesses. All the indicators on Google, by the way, are very, 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 very bullish. So the rich are going to get richer. They're going to continue to buy the best. And you're not. If you want freedom, you need to learn how to trade. You need to follow the money. You need to put your money where the rich put their money. That is how you will protect yourself. That's how I will protect myself against markets that crash, like the cannabis sector, where you see markets crash down in one year from here to here and you lose 50 60 percent of your money 80 percent of your money 90 percent of your money all of your money why would you want to do that at the same time we're definitely near bottom if you buy now and it explodes you could end up doubling and tripling your money again that's how crazy and volatile the cannabis sector is but when you look at the overall broader markets it's not like that it's not like that they just been going up for years so if you've been investing in big board stocks, you're winning. You're making money. But if you're investing in cannabis, you're investing in one of the 
fastest growing hyper growth sectors that's extremely volatile. Now, despite that, I've been talking about IIPR and IIPR just keeps going higher. Despite the fact that people have been telling me they're going to short my pick IIPR and I was telling them to short it at $70, it's now at $93.99, almost at $94. I've been telling everybody to short IIPR. I told you guys to short IIPR. Where are you guys at, man? Where's those shorts? Pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. And the other major players in America are GW Pharma, which is also up 2.4% today. Giant. FDA approval. These guys are beasts. I believe this is going to be a $1,000 stock. GW Pharma. You heard it here first. GW Pharma will be a $1,000 stock. Remember where you heard it first, okay? I want to make sure you remember where you heard it first. And then Scott's Miracle Grow at 115, the leader of all cannabis companies, up 5.4% today. The biggest and the best cannabis company out there. You want to know why it's up? Here it is. There's the news. Bam. Scott's Miracle Grow Q1 earning per share $1.12 beats with a $1.28 estimate. Sales $365.8 million beats the $342, $342 million point four million estimate beats it by 23 million there you go scott's miracle grow there you go scott's miracle grow leading the way for the cannabis sector the scott's miracle grow smg reported quarterly losses of 1.12 per share which beat the analyst consensus estimate of 1.28 so they're still reporting a loss by 12.5% this is a 19.42% increase over losses of 1.39 per share last quarter. So they had more losses last quarter. So they had less losses this quarter and the stock is flying. Now remember they have a tight float around 50 million shares. The Scott's Miracle Grow SMG reported quarterly losses of 1.12 per share, which beat the analyst consensus estimate of 1.28 by 12.5%. This is a 19.42% increase over losses of 1.39 per share from the same period last year. The company reported quarterly sales of 365.8 million, which beat the analyst consensus estimate of 342.4 million by 6.83%. This is a 22.71% increase over sales of 298.1 million the same period last year. You know what's funny? Is Scott's Miracle Grow? They're not that far ahead of Aurora and Canopy Growth and some of the other companies and GW Pharma. They're not that far ahead, believe it or not. There's a very good chance that some of these companies can catch them. Good results for Scott's Miracle Grow. So that is very bullish for the sector and very bullish for Scott's Miracle Grow. Lampako says, we have the first infected case in Finland. Damn. Yeah, I told you guys, it's going to spread all over the world. Jay says, companies are doing a lot of buybacking. Well, yeah, at these prices, definitely, if you believe in your business, you have to. Unless you think your company is going bankrupt, you should be believing in your company and you should be buying your company. If you believe in your company. ETFMG, IFLY, New York Stock Exchange, Search CA, is a drone company. What else is popping, guys? Anything else? Wow, GB, guys, GBTC is on a full alert. Here we go. Bitcoin is flying, and GBTC is going to catch up. Bitcoin's up 8%. GBTC will most likely go up 8%. There's still a 2%, I think, gain here if you're looking for just a momentum play. Let's see here. Under these six situations, we typically put a, a 
full alert out? Cryptocurrencies, cannabis stocks, and CEO interviews brought to you by Rich TV Live. Day for KSHB. IIPR, SMG, GWPH. A lot of companies having nice days today. Very interesting. Nice to see Chris Bottles finally break two bucks. This is so cheap. It's ridiculous. This company is ridiculous. Uh, who am I missing? that we need to look at. Is there anybody else I'm missing? GTII. Let's take a look at GTII. Green thumb. 1271. Sundial growers. S N D. Sundial growers at $2.52. I really like this stock, guys. Really like this company. I think these guys have a chance to be really big. Put them on your watch, just put on your radar. Sundial Growers. Wow, IIPR just broke 94. <laughs> what I tell you guys about IIPR, man? Oh, man. Invest in the best. The best is blessed. I told you guys IIPR was a beast. I told you it was a giant. And they have not disappointed whatsoever. Looking at so many stocks right now. I'm going to go back and do some research, do some due diligence. So, yeah, guys, right now, Bitcoin is hot. Um, 
cannabis stocks. Some cannabis stocks are pretty hot too. Vaccines for coronavirus seem to be pretty hot today. NNVC up 16%. AEMD up 10%. And another one that I like that hasn't done anything yet, but I think it's going to, is ONCY. So it's down another 12%. It's at 259. I think this one's getting ready to explode. Have this feeling it's going to explode. So I want to be prepared for when it happens. The lowest it's been is 82 cents, okay? That was like in November. It's been as high as six bucks in December, and it's now at 259, and they've got a vaccine that could be used for potentially for the coronavirus. I think this could be getting set up for a run here to maybe six bucks. So stay tuned, ONCY. It's Zach's research number one pick. So they've already been up a lot. They could be going to a bottom here, just getting ready for another run up. It's typical how these market makers like to play in these games. So um, keep it on your radar, keep it on your watches. I'm not saying you should go buy it. I'd love to buy the red, sell the green, but just one to watch. And if there's anything else you guys think I should look at, please let me know. This is your boy Rich from Rich to be Live. If you're not winning, you're not watching, we bring you winners and we bring them to you first. We bring them to you live and interactive. Thank you guys for joining. I'm out. Peace.